Tuna TV. Bonjour à tous, c'est Tina de Tuna encore. And today I will be discussing with you my experience on how to extend uh, your visa here in France. This is for all the students, by the way, because it is quite hard to extend if, for example, you're looking for a job or so, unless there's an employer, a really big company, that will process all the documents. It is really complicated, to be honest. I've been through that. But we'll focus on what we call the CPC de demande de carte de séjour. It is actually a document. I hope you can see it right there. Mm -hmm. Certificate. And it will show here for how long you can stay here in France. And in order for me to be able to extend my stay, so for example, I want to continue my studies. I'm currently studying Langue et Culture Francais. It's basically language and learning the culture here, here in France. I don't know why. I'm studying that, but it's good. And I have my diploma, which is two level or ADU. It's like this. It was really stressful for the last two months. The number one requirement, this is really a sad reality, but money, everything. Like a bilateral where if you just have money, you give me a visa and that's it. But of course you need to have a justification, why you want to study and all that stuff. But it is easy as long as you have money. There are five requirements for you to be able to get your recipe to do one to cut to sojo. Actually, just your first application in order for you to get the residence permit for you to be able to stay here longer. The address will be shown here. You must understand that all the étrangers or foreigners here in France, specifically in Lyon, there's a lot of foreign students here. It is quite a battle. I would say it's like Spartans attack. I will be waiting in lines early in the morning, 5 a.m. or 4 in the morning just to get in first. The thing is, prefecture opens at 9. You know how crazy that is? So you need to rest well. If you're not a morning person, like me, I always sleep at 4 in the morning or 5 a.m. playing Dota or Mobile Legends. I know, it's so bad. And you can take breakfast early in the morning, maybe because you don't have time to cook, you don't have time to prepare. Just bring some snacks. Like me, I always bring a snack with me. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people. I got there at 7 in the morning and the line was already long. Um, maybe earlier, maybe 6, 49, almost 7. So that is the first one, rest well before you go to prefecture. There's a question that I asked before I went there was, do I need to have an appointment? No, you do not need an appointment at all. Maybe some people took some uh, time to apply for an appointment. Or, but the thing is, it doesn't really matter because there's a line. And if, for example, your appointment is what, 9 in the morning, you're the first person to go there and all that. But then there's people who don't have any appointment at all. And they lined up at 5 in the morning or 4 in the morning, they get to be assisted first. So it doesn't really matter. Appointments, maybe for some special cases like you've already applied for a CPC or you have already applied for specific visa. For number two is bring your passport. Yes. Philippines. So number three, bring your justificative du tar de civil. Your certificate. It needs to be the original plus the translation of your birth certificate. They will not take the original, but you need to bring it just to verify that it's real. It's not Adobe Photoshop. Number four, you have to bring your justificative de domicile de mois de trois mois. This is lodgement three months or because they will extend your visa like moi so you have to bring your a proof of lodgement and then number five the last one is you have to bring two photos it just took one so you don't need to cut it make an effort because once you get there to the prefecture they will cut it for you so just keep it for your future use they put here that they will require two but basically they're just getting one another question that i asked was if I'm allowed to travel around Schengen area while my passport it only says my visa is only up until June 20 and what happens if I only have this? So basically you have to have this 
and your passport every time you show it to any immigration officer. Here, if you travel like, crossing borders, they don't really check unless you look like Thanos or you look like the Night King. Probably, yeah, they will check your identity. That's the last one actually. That's the fifth one. Make sure that you have all those before you get there because you don't want to go back the next day. Let me just share a little experience of what happened to me. It was Tuesday and I went there at around 10 or 11 in the morning because I'm a lazy bum. When I got there, I lined up for about almost an hour and then suddenly they closed the window. I asked them like, what just happened? And they're like, oh, they no longer have tickets. So that means you have to come back the next day. It's another battle, another war, it's another line. I have to wake up again early in the morning. Like the next day, I prepared, I trained myself, I tried to sleep. So I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and then there were a lot of people that actually cut off the line. So they will pretend, oh, is this the line? Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm, a, I'm a bit, you know, like... Really a lot of bull crap. If these people start talking to you and then start lining up behind you, just tell them just tell them it's behind because it's really unfair for those people who line up like who line up for maybe six in the morning. Third was quite intense. I don't wanna share exactly in detail. But in my case, it was a little bit complicated when I get to speak with the officer already. Everything is all good, but there's one that complicates it a little bit. And that almost made me cry. And I was like, mm. you know, I was just making face. I'm like, but, but, but really, this is literally my face. And she was just looking at me like, really, no? Like, really, you're gonna do this? We don't have time for this. <laughs> at the back of my mind, I'm like, Spraying and I don't want to go back and line up again. I don't want to wake up early in the morning just to do all these vacation again. So that's it for today. I hope it helps for the students who wants to, to extend their visa. It's a little bit of a work. I'm gonna give you that. For Carte de Sujo, it's another Martens battle that I need to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more details. I hope to give you more information as much as I can. So, bonjour, have a great day, everyone. Ciao.